Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today I thought I'd go back and play a little bit of Need for Speed Payback because it's actually been quite a long time since I've just touched Need for Speed. Uh, and also I decided to go ahead and download it on the PC. I've uh, had it before obviously on console. I honestly did not want to go ahead and hook up my Xbox again and record with the Elgato and all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd go on PC and the graphics just look so much better. There's like no grain or blur or anything like that. Motion blur, I turned it off. It's just such a much nicer looking game playing it on the PC. I just don't think I'm, gonna, I'm ever going to go back to console again. Yeah, especially after experiencing all of this good stuff on the PC. I don't want to go back to the console again. But anyway, we have an S15 here. I'm going to go ahead and modify this thing. And in the meantime, I'm also going to talk a little bit about Need for Speed Heat. Obviously, we've got the trailer release and I've talked about it. I made a video on it. But um, obviously, now people are at Gamescom and are going to actually get to experience some gameplay, which I'm not. So I'm not going to experience some gameplay, but there will be gameplay on YouTube of a bunch of, uh, of Need for Speed Heat. And uh, I'm actually very excited to have a look at it. And if any of you are going to Cologne, if any of you are going to Gamescom to actually be able to play the game, I don't know if they're going to allow the public to play it or is it just content creators to play it. Either way, we'll see some gameplay. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. And in this video, I want to talk about specifically drifting. That's why I'm going to do a build on this car and obviously take it out the slide for a little bit. So obviously I've done builds in the past on Need for Speed. Need for Speed uh, Payback specifically was a big part of my channel. I think I got like a significant amount of my views of Need for Speed Payback and Need for Speed 2015. Um, they've did, just the videos themselves did very, very well overall. Uh, so I really am happy that I think there is a fraction or like a big fraction of my subscriber base that came from need for speed uh, videos so that's it's kind of interesting either way i'm gonna go ahead and get this to be wide bodied i don't know why going through the actual going through the actual like bits here it makes it look so weird and laggy even though it like the game itself isn't laggy at all to me that's weird anyway we're gonna go with slightly wide body on this thing i'm not going rocket bunny um on it but I am going wide body, so we'll have a look and see what sort of options and once what sort of things we can actually put on this car. Um, I haven't actually done a build in such a long time on on this game. I actually kind of miss it a little bit, to be honest. I actually really do kind of miss it. We'll see where slip. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, obviously we can't change the canards. We can change our headlights though. I know for a fact that there's one of them where. Yes, I was just about to say there's one of them where the high beam is literally taken out, and there's just a hole in the headlights. I kind of like that. Legit. I, I might just put that on. Or even just the yellow lights. I feel like the yellow lights look kind of sick on it. But uh, we could just do that. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. I don't even know what sort of paints there are in this uh, in this game. I'm going to go with like a fairly clean build on this thing. I think I'm going to paint it white. Or at least get a design that's like white. Uh, I think I think I'll be, uh, I'll be happy with that. Obviously a little bit of tint. There's so many customization options. I really do hope that uh, Need for Speed uh, Heat also has the same sort of uh, customization setup or options that we can have, uh, like in this game, because there's so many, so many different things we can change and we can add on this thing um, to get the cars looking absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love the customization in this game. Um, and uh, again, like I said, I really do hope that we have a lot more of this happening in uh, in the new Need for Speed. You know what? I don't really like the whole setup here with this. I, I do like the Garage Mac like side skirt in the front fender, but the rear fender just doesn't look that great to me. So I'm not going to put that on. Tail lights, we could change those to, I guess, slightly smoked. Yeah, sure. Why not? Nothing really too crazy there. As for this, we can get rid. Oh, we can have a little carbon fiber. CLS style. BMW CLS style uh, boot lid, which we're going to do. I think I'm going to get rid of the... Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of the wing just altogether. I don't really, I don't really want a big wing on this thing. I don't know why. I just feel like I don't want it. I just feel like I don't want it on this thing. So no garage back side. Ooh, I kind of like the rocket bunny with it. I see. I don't like those exhausts though. That's the only problem. And I know for a fact that if I put the rocket bunny, actually, let's try it. If I do this, can I change the exhaust? I can change the exhaust. Okay, so I like this rear end, right? But I want to change the exhaust, and obviously. This suits it a lot more. Diffuser, we, can, uh, we can't add a diffuser onto that. This actually looks kind of legit. I, I'm actually kind of digging this, to be completely honest. It doesn't look bad at all. It needs to be lower, though. It needs to be a lot lower. And obviously, we need to change those wheels because the, it looks like it's riding on, like, 215s. Look at those wheels. It's like stretch tires on 215s. That looks stupid. 
Overall, though, the, the whole setup actually doesn't look too bad. Track width as well, that needs to change. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. So, obviously, we have a whole set of rims in this game. A whole set of rims. There's so many options for rims in this game. I'll be back, I guess, because there's, there's a lot of options here to choose from. I don't know. The works always suit this thing. I honestly kind of want to go with some some rotor farms just to make it a little bit different because I, I don't think I've ever done rotor farms on a on an S15 before. I feel like they would, it'd kind of be interesting if I put them on. What do these look like? I kind of like the way these look, to be completely honest. Let's put these on. We'll change the wheel size as well. Make them a little bigger. Eh, should we just keep them in the middle? I feel like in the center they, they'd actually look kind of decent. Yeah, let's do that. I even like like the just the bronze finish on them. I feel like that that looks kind of good. I don't I don't really know if I want to change that, especially with like the, the chrome rim around it. Might keep that. Uh, as our tires go, um, we'll just go with I don't know Falcons, whatever. It doesn't really make too much of a difference to me. Um, the track width is something that we can change in this game, if I remember correctly. That was a Need for Speed 2015. Uh, we'll go with the same sort of wheels for the rear end. So fly over to the rotor forms and put them on and. Uh, Again, go with our size, go slightly bigger, and then go to our tires. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and change the. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and change the. Uh, did I make them wider? Okay, they makes it makes them a lot wider. Okay, I was just looking for the for the thing. I wanted to see if the, they'll make the. Uh, wait, can I change? I'll change the calipers. I don't really want to change the. We'll go some. Ah, actually, no, 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 no. We'll go with Woods, right? Because they're is it Will Woods? No, Stop Tech. Yeah, we'll just go with these because they're yellow and they'll stand out a lot more. Same with the front end. Actually, for the front end, we might go with some uh, some Brembos. Nah, we'll do the same as the rear. Why not? Who cares? Okay, cool. I kind of like this. We need to find a paint for it and also we need to change our stance tuning. So obviously it's as low as possible. Um, our camber though, we need to increase that quite a bit for the front and the rear. I feel like that should be enough. Then if you go to paint and wrap, yep. If I go into uh, library, there's nothing there. If I go to community, let's have a look and see what we have here. Obviously, we're going to have the Mona Lisa paint job on this thing, which doesn't look too bad. I do, like I said, want to go with something white. I feel like white would suit this quite a lot. Or silver. I feel like silver's not too bad. Something bright in color, pretty much. It's kind of sick. Man, I miss doing builds. Builds are sick in this game. This honestly doesn't look bad at all. Let's have a look here. Ooh, full on white. Let's have a look at this. Eh, not a big fan of the whole stickers all over it. I feel like, it's, I don't know, they could have been a little bit better placed. What's this? Okay, this, this is interesting looking. It just looks, it looks so neat for Speed Underground. Obviously, especially with the East Siders uh, logo on the side of it. It actually doesn't look bad at all. It really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. I might put this on. Yeah, it looks good. Why not? Let's just put it on. That's kind of sick. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to change or add some vanity item stuff and add on some rear suspension. So we'll see what that's like. All right. So there we go. There's our finished product. Let's actually drive this thing. So yeah, Need for Speed Heat will obviously have a lot of these events in the game. Um, that gets, that gets fairly low. I like that. That looks good. That looks really, really good. Especially once it's fully lowered. This game looks so much better on the PC, man. I feel like I've been missing out playing this game on console. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, Need for Speed Heat will obviously have all these events in it. Um, it won't have... I don't know if it'll have Break to Drift, but the driving physics are going to be changed in Need for Speed Heat compared to Payback, for example. So, I don't know what to expect from it. I don't know if your cars will automatically drift, if they're drift spec or something like that. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but the driving physics will be different, which I'm kind of looking forward to because... I don't know, the physics in this game just feel like they're a little bit too... I don't know, they're like dumbed down, like everything is just super, super simple to do in this game. You like, you don't have to like force the car to slide or anything like that, especially if it's built as a drift car. It'll just go ahead and drift, regardless. Uh, let's bring it over to this event, because I haven't done this in a long, long time. I haven't done like a, a proper drift event in a long time, obviously, since I've... 
since I've played this game on console. It actually sounds pretty good too. So, one thing that I do really hope that they get right is the car list because I did see a lot of good cars in the game. I don't know what they're actually going to have uh, other than the ones that are already in the trailer. Obviously, there's a good few cars there that are very, very interesting. Um, again, the story, I, I have no idea what the story is going to be about, but again, the driving physics is like one of the biggest things that I've I've like heard about that they want to change or they have changed. So that's one thing I'm really, really looking forward to. Hopefully them getting like properly right this time. Um, because again, like I said, driving physics in this game just feel it, it just feels like the cars are just too easy. They're too easy to drive. There's no effort in driving cars in this game. And having cars drift. Just like that. I didn't have to do anything there. I just turned into a corner and my car is already sideways. It just seems a little bit too easy. I don't know. I honestly really, really like the driver physics in Need for Speed Underground. I mean, Underground and Underground 2, I feel like that when you're driving normally on the road, drifting does not help you go faster whatsoever. Whereas in this game, you have a drift car and you go into a corner and you speed up somehow. I don't know how that works, but apparently you speed up when you're going sideways and it's just that's just not the case it, it just i know it's the whole realistic versus unrealistic sort of thing i mean this is an arcade style game so i'm not expecting realism out of it i'm expecting it to be um you know an arcade style game which it is but again like i said i really do hope that there is some sort of realism just a little bit or at least have it so it's a little bit more difficult to drive the cars in this game that was just too easy Look how easy I got, like, what, five, 600,000 points? By doing just absolutely nothing, just driving around. Like, I just had to tap the brake a little bit and all that sort of stuff. Like, in Forza, it's so much more difficult to slide. So much more difficult, especially, like, obviously you can't really pin this against Motorsport. You have to pin it against Horizon. It's a lot more difficult to slide in, in Horizon than it is in this. Even though both of them are arcade-style games, I just feel like this is just a bit too easy. This is just a bit too easy, but yeah, it's it's been a while. It's been a while since I've played a little bit of Need for Speed. Yeah, be quiet, Mac. I'm speaking. It's been a while since I played some Need for Speed. I thought I'd bring it back on the channel at least with one of the videos. And uh, yeah, if you guys are looking forward to the new Need for Speed, I guess let me know down in the comments below what you guys would want to see. Obviously, the builds are definitely going to come back because there's going to be a lot of cars and most likely a lot of different customization options in the game. Um, once the new Need for Speed drops, so that's going to be very interesting. I'm definitely going to get the game on PC, so it's going to look a lot better than the previous videos that I uploaded on this game on console. Um, obviously, the higher frame rate and the, the better resolution and all that sort of stuff. I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want anything specific off Need for Speed, let me know down in the comments below. And obviously, Forza isn't really dead on the channel. It's just I'm sort of taking a break from it because there's not really a lot of stuff that I can do in it at the moment, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.